Hi friends, welcome to Biology Tutor. Today we are going to discuss about anti mortem and post mortem examination. If you like this channel, please share and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell button for notifications. Inspection of food animals objectives to ensure that only healthy physiologically normal animals are slaughtered for human consumption and that abnormal animals are separated and dealt with accordingly to ensure that meat from animals is free from disease wholesome and of no risk to human health these objectives are achieved by anti mortem and post mortem inspection procedures anti mortem and post mortem inspection procedures and by hygienic dressing with minimum contamination hazard analysis critical control point hscp principles should be used and the mortem examination it is the inspection of live animals done in the lairage within 24 hours of slaughter by a qualified veterinarian to produce wholesome meat objectives for the immediate detection and isolation of animals affected with infective diseases foot and mouth disease hemorrhagic septicemia contagious bovine pleuropneumonia that is lung plague to prevent the infection of those engaged in slaughter with diseases contagious to man such as anthrax rabies ganders etc to detect intoxications like tetanus and ineffective diseases anti mortem inspection facilities post mortem inspection for example fmd and nervous systems facilities adequate lighting livestock should be inspected while at rest and in motion the general behavior of animals their nutritional status cleanliness signs of diseases and abnormalities should abnormalities should be examined abnormalities which are checked on and the mortem examination include abnormalities in respiration abnormalities in behavior abnormalities in gait in posture in structure and conformation abnormal discharges or protrusions from body openings abnormal color abnormal order abnormalities in respiration frequency of respiration if the breathing pattern is different from normal the animal should be segregated as a suspect abnormalities in behavior walking in circles pushing its head against a wall acting aggressively showing a dull and anxious expression in the eyes an abnormal gait is associated with pain in the legs chest or abdomen or is an indication of nervous disease abnormal posture what is abnormal posture it is in an animal it is observed as tucked up abdomen or the animal may stand with an extended head and stretched out feet abnormalities in structure swellings seen commonly in swine enlarged joints umbilical swelling enlarged sensitive udder indicative of mastitis enlarged jaw that is known as lumpy jaw bloated abdomen etc abnormal discharges or protrusions from the body are discharges from the nose excessive saliva from the mouth protruding from the vulva intestine rectum or uterus or vagina growths on the eye and bloody diarrhea that are the abnormal discharges abnormal color black areas on horses and swine red areas on light colored skin dark blue areas on the skin or udder an abnormal order the order of an abscess a medicinal order sting weed order or an acetone order of ketosis may be observed animals in acute pain are sent for emergency slaughter after anti mortem inspection 
unhealthy or diseased animals detailed clinical examination is to be done after and mortem inspection normal and abnormal stocks are separated normal animals are sent forward for slaughtering abnormal animals be classified as unfit for slaughter affected with a localized condition one which will show post mortem lesions stock unfit for slaughter emaciated animals tetanus or a communicable disease example rabies and those not to be carrying toxic residues localized conditions localized conditions such as injuries fractures abscesses benign tumors or condition which will show up lesions on post mortem inspection suspect suspect animal sent for slaughter are clearly marked and accompanied by a full veterinary report conditions this is the chart which is showing the condition and end mortem significance here right side u represents unfit for slaughter p represents postpone slaughter and treat s represents handle as suspect d represents destroy and dispose cu means conditionally unfit post mortem examination it is defined as examination of dressed carcass their organs including blood immediately after slaughter to produce wholesome meat in a hygienic manner under adequate amount of light by a qualified meat inspector used to detect disease not visible in the live animals while inspecting an organ the associated lymph nodes has to be checked for abnormalities lighting in the area at least 540 lux units should be there in intensity the post mortem inspection process for livestock involves the following steps head inspection viscera inspection carcass inspection head inspection outer surfaces and eyes are to be examined initially the gums lips and tongue for food and mouth disease stomatitis actinomycosis and actinobacillosis retropharyngeal submaxillary and parotid lymph nodes for tuberculosis and actinobacillosis viscera inspection lungs bronchial and mediastinal lymph nodes are examined for tuberculosis heart pericardium for tuberculosis liver fatty changes due to actinobacillosis abscesses and parasitic infections such as cysticercus bovis stomach and intestines actinobacillosis mesenteric lymph nodes for tuberculosis spleen tuberculosis and anthrax uterus septic conditions adder for mastitis or abscesses supramammary lymph nodes for tuberculosis carcass inspection it is examined to ascertain condition efficiency of bleeding color condition of serous membranes pleura and peritoneum abnormalities cleanliness odors then it is also examined for lesion of tuberculosis when abnormal when abnormalities are observed while performing inspection the following actions must take place one the first one if the disease or condition of the head organ or carcass is localized the affected tissues is trimmed second one if the disease or condition is generalized and affects the majority of the head organ or carcass retain it for veterinary disposition and the mortem signs post mortem findings and the results of laboratory tests are all considered in making final judgment on the carcass and offal thank you if you like this channel please share and subscribe don't forget to click the bell button for notifications